everyone, so nice to see you here again on my channel. Today we will talk about the formal business dress code and look at another wonder wardrobe example for work. It's the third and the last installment of the business dress code series, so if you want to see the previous how-to examples for casual or business casual dress codes, you can find them on my channel. If you have a formal business dress code, it means that the foundation of your wardrobe should be the suits. For a better versatility, I would suggest choosing different types and colors for your suits, but try to have the same type of fabric and fabric density. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have two different types of suits. Both of them are made out of fine wool and have the same texture. That's why now if I exchange the jackets, they will fit nicely to the bottoms and I will get more outfits. You can also choose a pattern suit, but then keep another solid color one and make sure they both have the same fabric and texture. Beside that, you can go with this simpler and more classic combination that always works. If you have three basic suits, black, navy and dark grey, that have a similar texture and fabric, you will be able to increase their versatility. Now you can wear all three of them as suits or break them into mix and match outfits and rotate the jackets. The formal business dress code allows you to wear formal blouses, shirts, fine sweaters, cardigans and turtlenecks. Also remember that every time you choose a top, it should go well with your suits and match their color. Contrasting combinations, when the color of your suit and the color of your top make each other brighter, may look more fancy, sophisticated and even powerful. Muted combinations, when the color of your suit and the color of your shirt make each other even deeper, look more friendly and are an easier everyday go-to. You can also have some separate blazers and bottoms. Here it's also important to pay attention to the fabric composition, density and texture and make sure they match well. Your separates may also look formal and professional, so try to avoid any catchy designs or elements that have nothing to do with the business environment. You might also wear dresses, but keep in mind that for most formal situations, the jacket will still be necessary. Your dresses should have an elegant cut and design, beautiful fabric and color, and have short or long sleeves. You can choose different types of coats, but keep in mind that firstly, a coat has to give you enough space to wear a jacket underneath, and secondly, it should be longer than your jacket. I will suggest to have at least two different ones, a shorter one that will go well with your trousers and a longer one that will fit better to your skirts and dresses. Or you can also have two coats that fit well to any of your bottoms, it's totally possible. I will say that accessories play quite a role in the formal business dress code and may tell a lot about your professional level and status. The higher your position, the more luxurious your accessories can become. For example, an expensive watch or a beautiful leather handbag is a clear symbol of status and business success. But none of your accessories should clearly reveal the price tag. Choose something that is still business-like and delicate. If you are just starting out in your career, I would suggest to invest in the best quality of both clothes and accessories you can afford, because this way you will not only look and feel better, but you will also show a serious attitude for your work and desire to grow professionally. Today I will try to create a sustainable, interchangeable wardrobe for the colder season that includes a couple of suits, a blazer, two bottoms and seven tops. I hope this will be enough to end up with at least 30 outfits. I will also add two pairs of shoes and a bag that should go perfectly with everything else. The color palette for this wardrobe came out to be cold and bright. 
I like how elegant and sophisticated these colors look with each other. I think it's better to start looking for suits first and try to find a couple that might be also interchangeable. Sometimes if you are lucky it's even possible to find both of them at the same brand store. I like this suit. The color is so beautiful, not too bright, not too dark. Now I need to find a second suit that can match well with this one. I think I saw a very cool one in Marella. Ok, yes, this one. Let's see if these suits are interchangeable. I say yes, they are. Now when I have my suits, I will look for tops, then two different bottoms, a jacket and then everything else. It might sound like a lot, but now when I have my foundation, it will be much easier. At least I hope so. <laughs> okay, see you in a bit. Here's the capsule wardrobe that I've just made. It includes two suits, seven tops, a blazer, a skirt, a pair of trousers, two pairs of shoes and a bag. And when I put all these items together, I will get 40 outfits that include a jacket, 28 outfits that can be worn without a jacket, and 32 outfit combinations that include layering with a sweater. Yes, that's right, all these items can create this crazy amount of outfit combinations. As you can see, all the tops look very well with both suits. Then, if we exchange the jackets, we can get even more possible combinations. As separates, I chose this black blazer that can be paired with both the skirt and a pair of wide cropped trousers. They are not a part of a suit, I found all three pieces separately from different brands, but all of them have very similar or identical fabric and obviously they are all black and look well proportionally. This could be a nice and slightly more feminine alternative to the classic suit. Of course, all these tops look very well without a jacket as well and give me 28 interchangeable outfits. In addition, we also have these two fine sweaters. They can be worn with every bottom and under any jacket. They can also be layered on top of some shirts. And finally, it's also possible to wear a shirt and a sweater combo under a blue suit, resulting in 8 more outfits. The formal business dress code doesn't let you fully express your personality or be trendy. It's more about presenting yourself as a high-qualified professional. Think about it this way. The company's image comes first. Like any individual, every company wants to be perceived in a certain way, so they establish rules for how their employees represent them. It's a little bit like coloring within the lines as long as you know where the lines are. That's it, I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know how does your wardrobe for work look like? How many outfits do you have? Let's chat. If you like this video, please press like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, see you next time.